Hey everybody, Kevin here, and welcome back to another episode of Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. That's me, in today's episode we're going to talk about the table saw and the joiner. And I'm going to show you how to set them up for the perfect rip. So one of the most important things I ever learned how to do as a woodworker is how to use my table saw and joiner together to get perfectly square, accurate rips every single time. I didn't even know this until I was in my mid-twenties. And I started woodworking in eighth grade. So in school they never let you touch the table saw or joiner because you can wind up like this. And I had a teacher that actually looked like that. So there's that. I got my first job as an apprentice. I was never allowed to touch any, hardly any of the tools. I was allowed to sand, use the drilling jigs, uh, move stuff around, clean up stuff, things of that nature. But I never got to really mill until I moved up to Humboldt about 30 years ago and got a job at a millwork company over here. And uh, they had a whole program, OSHA set up a whole nine yards, and they taught you how to mill the way they want you to mill every single board. And I'm going to show you guys because I can't find it anywhere on YouTube's that anybody even talks about this. So I'm not even sure if anybody knows about it. You probably know about it because it just makes sense, but it's using your table saw and joiner for perfect rips, and that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so in this video, we're only going to talk about ripping and joining. We're not going to talk about flattening any boards or anything like that, or setting up your joiner or anything like that. I'm just going to explain how this works. It's going to be super short, super simple, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. All right, let's get to the video. Here we go. This is the caliper we're using today, right there. Super simple, super easy to read, not confusing. Uh, I can look at it and tell what it is instantly. And that's what you want. You can get a digital one too if that makes you feel better, but uh, this one's only $12. And the digital ones that are decent are like $45. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we do is we raise our blade up one tooth above our workpiece. That's all you need, that's all you ever need. All right, we got a board, it's three and five eighths. It's uh, been face jointed. Plane to thickness, and it's got one good square edge on it. I'm gonna rip this to three and a quarter, and I'm gonna check it with our calipers right here. Okay, here we go. No dust collector, it's gonna stink. Okay. That's three and a quarter right on the money. I mean, it's right on the line, okay? Now that we've got that, we're going to come over to the joiner. So we know that this is ripping good. This is exactly what we want. So from now on, what we're going to do is when we're going to rip a board, let's say we're going to rip it at three and a quarter, we're going to set it to three and a quarter plus a sixteenth. So three and five sixteenths. Then you're going to set your joiner up so it's going to cut at a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We know the table saw is calibrated and it works good. I'm going to rip this to three and a sixteenth. I'm going to come join it on here. And if it says three, that we know that we have this all lined up too. But let's just try this real quick. So three inches. My saw is set at three and a sixteenth. And we're going to join this. And hopefully it's set at a sixteenth and we'll have it on the money. Okay. Going down. So there it is, three inches on the money. So we have our joiner set, perfectly calibrated to our table saw. So what happens now is whenever you mill and you have something at three inches, you set your table saw to three and a sixteenth. You come over to the joiner that's set at a sixteenth inch deep and you join it and it should be right on the money. And that's how you get perfectly square edges uh, every single time. And that's how the pros do it. Because I didn't know this until I was like 23 years old and I even had my own table saw and chop saw and a joiner and hand tools and I was building stuff left and right. I didn't even think about it. It was just like, oh, I, you know, uh, uh, I still had saw grip that I had to sand off sometimes. I don't know why. <laughs> Makes no sense. But if you wanted perfectly uh, joined edges, ripped to the perfect size, that's how you do it. If I need a two inch piece, I'm gonna set it to a two and a sixteenth. I'm gonna come over and join off a sixteenth and we'll have perfectly square edges every single time. And that's the way you mill a piece of wood properly. Because uh, when you build a door or anything, you want that joint nice and square. You want it the right size. You don't want to guess what it's going to be. Uh, you want to know, like, for sure, that's what it's going to be. Get yourself a pair of calipers, or digital calipers, a micrometer, whatever you want to get. 
and double check everything and, and check it every couple of weeks, you know, or a month, whenever. I usually check it at every job. When I start a new job, I check everything. I've just set my joiner to a 16th. I like it at a 32nd because uh, it just, it goes through smoother and I'm not chunking off a bunch of wood and I don't fill up my dust collector as fast uh, as I do when it's set on a 16th. It's just me, that's the way I like it. So I like a 32nd of an inch on my table saw. I can see it, it's, I know exactly where it is. My joiner is usually set at a 32nd. Now I'm gonna have to recalibrate it so it's at a 32nd. Uh, I might as well do that right now, right? Good golly, you can see if I can not knock over a bunch of other crap. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm putting this back to a 32nd of an inch. I loosened my in-fee table. I flipped it all the way up and back to the first line that I had on the bottom. And uh, this is right on the money. Three inches, so now this should be, once we join this, it should be a 32nd less. Should be two and 31 30 seconds. Can you see that? Right on the, it's on the money. So now it's back to where I like it. So I like it at a 32nd of an inch. I'm gonna turn that damn thing off. The Beast 2 is now set back at a 32nd where I like it. So that means every time I uh, mill a piece of wood and it's three, I'm gonna have to set it to three and a 32nd on my table saw and come over and join off that 32nd here. There you go, everybody. Hopefully that helps somebody. I'm gonna have to stitch all this together because I was cussing a lot and throwing things. So it's, it's my day off and I'm trying to help everybody out here, but the whole trick is to get everything dialed in so when you go to use your joiner, uh, if it's set at a 32nd or a 16th, it doesn't matter. You always oversize on your table saw by whatever that number is. Uh, but having a nice square edge when you're building face frames or doors or anything, any kind of furniture is very important to do. And you don't want to have a bunch of, uh, you know, parts that are like a 32nd of an inch shy or a 16th. And then you go to build it and it's a quarter inch short because all that adds up. And you're like, oh, what happened? Uh, ask me how I know. I've done that before. Don't! All right, well, there you go. Perfectly square edges. <laughs> you can't beat that. Uh, this is one of the most important things I ever learned as a woodworker is how to use my table saw and joiner together in tandem to give me nice square edges every single time and right on the money accurate. So it took me quite a while to have somebody actually show me how, to, how that works. Now all of you know. So when you go to mill, you set up your table saw a 16th inch bigger than the piece you need and then join off the 16th on your joiner. It's just that simple, super easy to do. Once you get it all dialed in, just get yourself a cheap pair of calipers like this. Uh, something you can read and that you uh, know is accurate. And then uh, get two pairs and check them against each other. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Um, and that's it. That's a very important thing to know. Wider by the 16th, join off the 16th, nice and square. It's just that simple. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time right here on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. <laughs> that's me. You have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Subscribe now. What are we going to talk about? I forgot what we're going to talk about again. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, okay. We're going to set up a little mood light. <laughs> Not really. Do rips on the table saw. Okay. Did we get it all? I think I got enough, didn't I? All right, everybody. Well, there you go. I got to go over here now. Uh, if you had to watch that on the YouTubes, it'd probably bore the hell out of you.